I found this AI image generator that's completely changing what's possible with artificial intelligence. After spending the last week testing every single feature, comparing it to other tools and creating hundreds of images, I can now show you exactly what CG Dream can do. And before I get into the details, let me show you some of the most impressive results I've discovered. Take a look at this architectural concept, a floating city with crystalline spires and waterfalls cascading between buildings. The level of detail is absolutely insane. And here's another example that blew my mind, an otherworldly cyborg with an insane amount of detail. Trust me, the way it handles all these different elements in one image is unlike anything I've seen before. So let me show you how to actually use this. When you're on the home page, you'll see this text bar at the bottom. This is where we can describe what we want to create or select something from the gallery. Now let's create our own image. I'm going to prompt it to create a huge bodybuilder tiger standing behind a motorcycle. Now this looks good, but I want to take it to the next level. And that's where CG Dreams filter system comes in. These filters are basically additional AI models that layer on top of your initial generation. And trust me, they're incredibly powerful. What makes this really great for beginners is you don't need to be an expert at writing prompts. You can just browse through the filters, see what looks good and layer them together. It's very simple and straightforward. Let me show you how this works. If I scroll through the filter categories here, you can see we've got all sorts of options. I'm going to select a few different ones that I think will work well together. Now in the bottom here, we can adjust how strong each filters effect will be. Now let me show you something really cool called Dream Up. Instead of starting with a completely new prompt, we can take any image we like and let CG Dream get creative with it. Let's try this with an image I found in the gallery. I'm going to click on Dream Up to see what it comes up with. Now I really like this one, but I want it in better quality. So let me show you a quick trick. If you click on the 2x button right here, you'll see that we now have a lot more detail. The difference is absolutely insane. You can actually create an image without a prompt just by combining filters. All you need to do is click on filters and then go to the character category. You can choose anything from dinosaurs to fish to mythological creatures. I'm going to create a knight, so I'll click on that, add the woman realistic filter, then go over to abstract where we can select these really cool dynamic shapes. Now without any prompt at all, I'll select three variations and click on Dream Up. And look at what we just made without even prompting. This is why Dream Up is so powerful. You don't even need to think about prompts anymore. Now let me show you one of my favorite features, structure based generation. Think of this like giving the AI a blueprint, but letting it completely reimagine everything else. Let's say we love this image right here. It has this really strong composition. We can use this as our structure, but tell CG Dream to create something entirely different with it. All you need to do is upload your reference image, choose how strongly you want to maintain that original structure, and then tell it what new direction you want to take. Trust me, the strength slider is really important here. Let me show you a few examples. I'm going to take this fantasy inspired world and tell CG Dream to turn it into something more cyberpunk inspired. Look at how it keeps the basic layout, but completely transforms the buildings into something more futuristic. The best part is you can combine this with all the filters we talked about earlier. So once you've got your new generation, you can still refine it further by using those filters to get exactly what you want. Now this next feature is absolutely insane. CG Dream can transform any 2D image into a 3D model. Let me actually show you this in action. I'm going to take this image here and click on this button at the bottom. As you can see, this image turned into a 3D model and it turned out well. It's not exactly perfect, but it definitely saves you a lot of time compared to doing it from scratch. What's really cool about this is how versatile it is. For simple objects, it works almost perfectly. And even with more complex subjects, it gives you a solid foundation to build upon. Now, let me show you something that's absolutely insane. CG Dream's face generation feature. Trust me, this is one of the most powerful tools that I've found on the platform. You can upload any photo of a person and CG Dream will use that as a base to create entirely new scenarios. It's that simple. Now, what's really important here is something called character strength. Let me show you what I mean. When you upload your photo, you'll see this slider right here. If you put it at 100%, it will try to keep the face exactly the same. If you lower it, it will take more creative freedom. Let's actually do it ourselves. 
I'm going to upload a photo of myself right here and I'll set the character strength to 100%. First, let's try something simple. I'm going to type man in a jungle wearing explorer gear and look at what it creates. As you can see, it kept my face the same, though I look like I got lost in the jungle for like 20 years. Let's try something different. I'm going to type surfing wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And look at that. It's still clearly me, but now I'm on the beach. I'll try one more. Cyberpunk hacker in Neon City. And once again, you can see it's keeping my facial features while completely transforming everything else. Now here's a quick tip that I've learned from testing this. If you're not getting exactly what you want, try generating three or four variations. Sometimes the first result isn't perfect, but the third or fourth one will be exactly what you're looking for. If you want to get even better results, here's another trick I discovered. You can actually upload multiple reference photos of the same person. This helps CG Dream understand the face better from different angles. Now let me show you one of my favorite features that I use all the time in painting. Trust me. This is going to change how you edit your AI images completely. For the ones who don't know what inpainting is, it's when you try generating an image and everything looks perfect except for that one small part. Well, instead of generating a completely new image, you can actually tell CG Dream to only change that specific part. Let's say we have this image right here, and I really like everything about it except for this part. Instead of starting over, I can simply hover over this area, select it, and then tell CG Dream what I want to change it to. So I'm going to select this part right here, and let's say I want to turn it into some kind of potion. I'll type that in and click in paint. And look at what happens now. CG Dream only changes that specific part while keeping everything else exactly the same. You can actually use in painting multiple times on the same image, but make sure to erase the previous in painting selection first. So let's say I want to change another part. I can simply select that area and do it again. The AI will make sure everything matches perfectly with the rest of the image. Now here's a quick tip I discovered while testing this. When you're using in painting, it's usually better to select a slightly larger area than you think you need. This helps the AI blend everything together more naturally. You can also combine this with all the filters we talked about earlier. So after you've done your in painting, you can still add filters to make everything look more cohesive. For this one, I chose a mix of epic environment, battle fantasy and glowing runes. And look at that. As you can see, it blends every filter in a cohesive manner. Trust me, once you start using in painting, you'll wonder how you ever edited AI images without it. It saved me so much time and it's the perfect tool for when you just want to make small adjustments to your generations. After testing this tool for over a week now, I've discovered some tips that will help you get the most out of CG Dream. Let me walk you through them. First, always start broad and then refine. Trust me, don't try to get everything perfect in your first generation. I always start by creating three or four variations before touching any of the advanced features. Next up is something that saved me a lot of time. Save your favorite filter combinations. When you find a mix that works really well, write it down somewhere. And finally, don't treat these features as separate tools because they're meant to work together. Some of my best results came from combining different approaches. Trust me, this tool is perfect if you're a content creator or if you need to create consistent character images for your brand. I actually use this myself for my thumbnail images sometimes. If you want to try this out yourself, remember to use the link in the description down below. And if you're enjoying this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.